Good afternoon, Mark. Good afternoon. Challenger Acquisitions. Would you like to uh, just uh, give a small overview of the company, please, for the viewers? Sure. If you think of the London Eye, that, uh, that gives you a sense of what we're about. We're a, we're a giant observation wheel company. Uh, there's only four of them in existence in, in, in the world. And we own the engineering team that, that helped design and, and engineer the, the London Eye wheel and the drive system. So we've got the technical team to back up these giant observation wheels, and uh, we're working on those various projects around the world. Okay, you're actually doing the New York one as well, aren't you? We are. You're both yes. of that. Our, our, our team in the Netherlands is working on the New York project. Uh, the bulk of their work is done now because it's under construction. Um, so the design and engineering work, of course, is normally on the front end of a project like that. So they're, they're eight, nine months into construction. So most of that uh, contract has been fulfilled. There'll be a little bit more work this year, but, but then it, it's really completed or close to completion. Well, sounds all good. Uh, you have had some new company appointments recently. Yes, we, we added a, <coughs> a few new board members, so we're, we're really pleased. Uh, John Laporteman is our, our new uh, non-executive chairman. Uh, John brings just a tremendous wealth of UK-listed company experience. Um, He's in, in particular his, his smallest company probably has a market cap of 100 million. The largest is about 800 million. So, right. so we uh, we appreciate his experience and, and advice. Um, and Rich Marin, the, the CEO of the New York Wheel, joined our board. Um, Rich is a Wall Street veteran of about 37, 38 years, and he uh, single-handedly was responsible for raising a half billion US for the New York Wheel project. So, um, absolutely thrilled to to have him on board as well. You've got, you've got quite a serious team there then, haven't you, really? Well, we're, we're trying to build it for the long term, and that's, yeah. that's the key. It's, there's a plan here to, to develop a, at least one project each year through our, our pipeline of projects from Starnet, that's our engineering company in the Netherlands. Yeah. And longer term, what we'd like to own is an equity stake in, in some of these select giant observation wheel projects. So we'll make very good money out of the project management side of it, because uh, these wheels typically are in that 100 million pound uh, euro type range. So that typically will be done over a two or three year period. But longer term, what we really want is we want to have uh, have those dividends from those those operating entities come back into the public company through our equity stakes in them. So it's, the game plan is longer term to have a portfolio of equity stakes in these giant observation wheel projects. That That's ultimately what we'll see. And then then that'll carry on for the life of the wheel, which could be 40, 50 years or exactly, more. Exactly, yeah. So it's a, it's a tremendous long-term annuity. So it's all about building it for the long term. And that's, that's why we're, we're trying to bring the people on board that can help us do that. I think that yeah, I think that's what people have to understand, really. Like you say, your business model is you, you're going to go forward over numerous years and you're going to build the company, really, yep, with that, that team. And it, it'll take time. Uh, it takes time for each project to, to start. Yeah. Typically, each of these these projects are two to five years in the making before they start, before it gets to the Starneth phase. But Heel Heel Smeets, the CEO of Starneth and his team, they've been working on this for about fifteen or sixteen years since the London Eye project was completed. So that's that's the core of the pipeline of about twenty five projects that we have there. Um, but we're our plan is to at least start one major project each year, and we're quite confident of being able to do that. Um, they just take a long time to get to that point, and then they take two or three years to build after that. But then there's a tremendous annuity stream for whoever yeah. whoever owns that wheel. Definitely. You began trading after a six month suspension. Was that ever a worrying time for the company? Uh, absolutely, and and our, our shareholders were very very patient with us, and I I, th I thanked uh, several of them uh, in person and a bunch of them by email. Um, Six months is a long time, and we, we expected sort of two, three, maximum four months. So it, it seemed like forever from uh, from the company's perspective. So we're we're thrilled to be up and trading again, and uh, you know now now we've got a chance to really build the company. Okay, what would you say to investors about the current share price and your plans for the future? Obviously, you've touched on the the plans for the future already, haven't you? Yes. Well, well the, the share price, of course, it. it Probably went down a little bit too much just recently, and you know it's it's a little uh, active nowadays. But I think if people remember that when we were suspended on May 26th, our share price was at 38p, and we were just a cash shell. We we didn't have anything in the company, and and now we have a three percent equity stake in a 500 million U.S. project called the New York Wheel. New York, yeah. um, plus we own Starneth, 
uh, an engineering company. Uh, the guys that they have the they are the go-to guys for the design and engineer of these projects. So you know our, our price should reflect uh, those sort of two main parts of the business that we now have inside the company. So I'm pretty pretty confident we will create a lot more shareholder value for for the shareholders here. There's definitely a lot of interest for you on social media because the questions I'm asking you today have come from investors. So there's, there's definitely that there. Uh, with a 3% interest in the New York Wheel Project and working towards financing another major project in Jakarta, these must be very exciting times for the company. Uh, they are. We, we, we're, we're keen to see the New York Wheel continue to, to progress in its construction. Um, they've spent about 200 million US of their total budget so far. They started construction in May 2015 and scheduled to be completed in Q3 of 2017. So we're, we're very keen to see that project open because that's when everything comes alive for us. And then we can say we actually own 3% of, a, of an operating uh, wheel. And that's going to be pretty exciting for us. Um, and then the, the Starneth business, um, the first contract that we've announced is the Jakarta project. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a 94 million US project. Uh, the developer, though, has to secure the funding, so that's in, in the final stages. Um, we don't control that timeline, but we, we'd sure like it to be sooner as opposed to later. <laughs> but, but that'll start to, to demonstrate the, uh, the business model in Starnef, and then there, there's other projects in behind that one. So we're, that's why we're pretty confident, uh, in fact, very confident, saying we can deliver at least one of those major contracts each year. The next one is a good one for you. You'll love this one. <clears throat> Uh, I don't know if you can comment on that. A place that you've just raised half a million, are you considering that in short term? Because social media now at the moment, there's, there's a lot of chatter and it's very fluid, you know, when people chat. But that's one of the things people are asking. Yeah, there, there's no active plans to do a prospectus and do a major placement. Uh, we do have some convertible notes that are coming due, so people will see some some um, press releases on that over the, the coming weeks and the, and the month, next month or two. Um, so we do have to get those converted and or rolled over or something like that. Um, and they're all in friendly hands, so we're quite confident of, of dealing with all that. Yeah. Um, but there, and there are people that do want to put money in the company, so you, know, you always balance that off against where you are at the time. But we have no plans to do a prospectus at this point and go through that process to raise, uh, you know, to raise ordinary shares. All right, thanks very much. Uh, you have recently raised funds through the issue of convertible loan notes. How are you going to use this money? Oh, well, a lot of it's been used already. <laughs> we, we use them to... Uh, it's half a million, to, yeah. Yeah, well, we, we used the, the previous notes to invest in the New York wheel and, of course, uh, the, first, the first tranche of the, the cash, uh, cash commitment for Starnet. Um, the, the last uh, last little piece that we raised, that was really just for, for working capital to, to move forward on. So um, uh, nothing specific for, for that use other than working capital for Starneth until Jakarta kicks in and as well for the for some of the public yeah. company costs too. Cash generates, yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you comment on the reverse takeover you were involved with and why? That's the question that's been sent in. The reverse takeover? I don't know, yeah, it says there, can you comment on the reverse takeover you were involved in and why? I don't know if they're well, talking. Well, that would have been Starnet. It that would have was, been, yeah. That yeah. was one reverse takeover. You've completed that, haven't you? Yeah, yeah and, and actually the investment in the New York wheel was classified as another reverse takeover. So, so we actually did two. Oh, okay. Uh, that was part of the reason for the lengthy readmission process, uh, unfortunately. But um, maybe they're just referring to, to Starnet. And, I think they may be, actually, and, yeah. And, and if they are, well, when you have a chance to bring in the, you know, an engineering firm where the project yeah. manager for the London Eye is the CEO of it, I, I, I think that's Correct. pretty good value for our company. <coughs> yeah. tell, tell by the smell, yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. do you envisage, envisage taking a larger stake in the New York wheel? Uh, we, we've got our stake now, it's, it's approximately 3% equity stake in the whole project. Yeah. Um, I, we're pretty happy with that. We would have loved to have owned, owned more. Um, so I, I think we're, we're, we're very comfortable with what we have now. Okay. Do you see Challenger taking stakes in all projects? No, no, I, I, I wish we could. There's, uh, of the four regions, um, uh, Jakarta we will have a stake in it and Southeast Asia will be very active over the next five to 10 years. Pretty sure there's opportunities to have stakes in some of those other wheel opportunities. Uh, in the Middle East, uh, likely no opportunities there because 
the people we're talking to, those are fully funded projects, so I don't think there's going to be an opportunity there. Uh, in the European region, we, we believe there's going to be opportunities to have stakes in those wheels. Yeah. And, and in the Americas, it's a mixed bag. Some of them some of them appear to be fully funded, so we won't have an opportunity. And there's one or two that we may have an opportunity to, to invest directly in. So it, it's mixed depending on the region. But uh, longer term, we, we'd like to have as many equity stakes and as high of equity stakes as we could in these giant observation wheel projects. Sounds quite positive. What is happening, happening about the court case? Oh, this is the, the Madison claim. Um, uh, there's a hearing uh, It's going to happen in, in early April. Uh, it was delayed for two weeks, it's supposed to be on March 24th. Um, they're going to hear the, the case in front of the, the judge in, in New York. And uh, from then it will take anywhere from a couple weeks to a couple months to get a decision. Um, we just asked for the whole claim to be thrown out because it has no basis whatsoever uh, in, in New York court. And um, we're, we're quite confident that's what's going to happen. All right, thank you. How far are you on in other projects, potential projects? Oh, they're, they're actively being developed as we speak. So, so uh, while we're waiting for the funding to, uh, to get secured for Jakarta, all the other projects are in progress as well too. So there's, there's projects in the other three regions, in the Middle East, in Europe, and in the Americas that are progressing. So we're, we're pretty confident we'll have some, some additional news before the end of the year on, uh, on at least one more of those, those projects. Yeah, I think as investors, what the, 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 the hungry for news, you know, to, to be released. So yes, we're, we're, yeah. we're hungry to, to issue it. <laughs> I'm trying to pressure you that you're not going to comment that yet. Yeah. Um, okay, fair but, comment. But, but the, the nature of these projects are such that um, they take a long time to develop, a yeah. long time to come. A lot of them have been in the works for, for many, many years. Um, some of them were in the works before the financial crash in 2008, 2009, uh, five of them in particular and two of those have come back alive, they're in the pipeline. So they've been in the works for, for quite a while. Um, but everything needs to be set up. The developer has to have you know, the funding ready to go, the site secured, the political side nailed, the social side nailed, the environmental side looked after, all the proper um, regulatory issues and permits looked after. So there's quite a bit of work to be done on each of these before it gets to the stage where Starnath can be engaged to, to start project managing the whole thing. Um, but we'll, we'll push out news as soon as, as, soon as we get the opportunity. <laughs> so this sounds a very lengthy process. Uh, the last question. What would you say to possible new investors watching this video today? Oh, um, if, you, if you like uh, an opportunity to, to get in an early stage, this is great. Uh, if not, just, just watch us over the next few months. Uh, we'll have some, some news come out and, and some nice developments. And just watch us build the company. Everybody has their different risk return thresholds, um, um, but again, I just remind people we were suspended at 38p, and I, I think we've got a little bit more value in the company now than we did back then. So that'd be my message. Fantastic! Thanks very much for talking to LSE Share Talk. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you.